Engineering geology is defined by the IAPG as the science devoted to the investigation, study, and solution of the engineering and environmental problems that might arise as the result of interaction between geology and the works and activities of humans. Engineering geology also involves the prediction of geological hazards as well as the development of measures for their prevention or remediation. I have worked as an engineering geologist on or around a variety of natural hazards. These include landslides, debris flows, the fire flood cycle, coastal and river flooding and erosion, subsidence, expansive soils, volcanic eruptions, and active seismogenic faulting. The variety of challenges and their importance to society sustain my interest in engineering geology. Engineering geology forms an important part of the critical interface between society and the geological environment. It fills a vital niche, providing essential expertise to help society recognize natural hazards and the risks that they pose. Engineering geologists inform public policy with respect to land use, building codes, and the mitigation or avoidance of natural hazards. And we form an important part of the engineering and environmental science teams involved in construction projects, helping to ensure that human activities do not combine with natural conditions to produce disaster. Engineering geology should be practiced in accordance with two broad imperatives. We share the first imperative with all geoscientists, to abide by the ethical norms, standards, and practices of science. Geoscience professional societies develop ethical codes and standards of professional practice that help define and shape the character of their membership. The second imperative is to protect public safety. Many natural hazards can result in death, injury, significant loss of infrastructure, damage to property, and a heightened risk of disease in the case of water quality issues. Some natural disasters result in long-term problems of food insecurity, potable water shortages, interruption of energy, and increased homelessness within human society, as well as dramatic changes to ecosystems in the surrounding environment. Because of this connection between the work of engineering geoscientists, public well-being, and environmental health, engineering geology is recognized as a profession that requires licensure or certification in most jurisdictions. Along with other engineering geoscientists who have been quietly working for decades to establish the geoethical foundation of our profession, we assert that the ultimate client of any engineering geoscientist is society, the community, and that engineering geoscientists share in an engineer's canonical responsibility to hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public and to strive to comply with the principles of sustainable development. Rather than being solely constrained by the limited interests of a client or a company, a professional engineering geologist must be an advocate for the public interest. Equally important, a professional engineering geologist must advocate for the interests, if you will, of the earth and its non-human inhabitants. We must be informed stewards of earth's resources and ecosystem who consider the broader impacts and long-term consequences of any professional task or project. We are well positioned to help society to become more adaptive and resilient in the face of regional and global scale environmental challenges in the years to come. No other group in society has the training, perspective, and knowledge of Earth's history, processes, materials, and hazards to provide this essential service. Science is the most efficient process humans have devised for discovering reliable information about our world. Because science is such a consequential endeavor, ethics is of central importance to science, and truth-telling is at the core of science ethics. As physicist C.P. Snow observed, the only ethical principle which has made science possible is that the truth shall be told all the time. Not a shading of truth to align with the limited interests of a client, but truth unvarnished, along with our honest assessment of uncertainty. The public needs clear communication about natural hazards and associated risks. It is our responsibility as geoscientists to provide information clearly before hazard becomes disaster, 
before disaster is compounded and amplified while the information is still useful. The information needs to be communicated using intelligible language appropriate to the audience, and in particular, the information needs to be communicated fully and truthfully to the persons and institutions with the power and responsibility to minimize the effects of the natural hazard. If we do not act as responsible scientists in the public interest, the contributions of engineering geoscientists will not be sought or valued by society.